Where is Jimmy Hoffa? Was he crushed in a compressed car and sold as scrap or incinerated in a trash incinerator? Perhaps Jimmy Hoffa was buried beneath a skyway in concrete in New Jersey. Or maybe Jimmy was fed the alligators in the Everglades. Whatever happened, you're about to discover it as we take you through some of the unbelievable truths about Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. So, let's get started. To start with, the former Teamsters president, Jimmy Hoffa, disappeared on July 30, 1975, from a restaurant parking lot outside of Detroit. For nearly 47 years, many people, as well as the FBI, have developed ideas and theories to determine who killed Jimmy Hoffa. The most famous story surrounding Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance is The Irishman Story. The Irishman is a 2019 American epic crime drama film that Martin Scorsese directed and produced. It was based on Charles Brandt's nonfiction book, I Heard You Paint Houses, from 2004. Charles was the lawyer of Frank Sheeran, an associate of Jimmy Hoffa, and Frank confessed to Charles that he killed Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, he did. Frank Sheeran, a.k.a. The Irishman, narrates his life's journey in the film, and he takes the blame for assassinating Jimmy Hoffa, whose disappearance startled the entire American country. However, the ideas put up by the U.S. Attorney's Office that looked into Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance show their investigations are unrelated to the Irishman Netflix film. According to the Detroit Free Press, U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider informed reporters that he had watched the movie and he has his own opinions. I have my theories, Schneider said. There will be more to come on this. In addition, crime historians and investigators concur that Jimmy Hoffa was killed at the instigation of his foes in the Mafia. We will soon disclose information about the Mafia, who are likely to have ordered Jimmy Hoffa's death, so keep watching. Here on this channel, we disclose and inform while entertaining you with the juiciest information. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to this channel and you won't regret your choice. Moreover, regarding Jimmy Hoffa's investigation, in 2020, a man on his deathbed admitted to burying Jimmy Hoffa's body underground in a steel drum. According to the Detroit Field Office, which is in charge of the investigation into Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance, on October 25 and 26, 2021, FBI agents carrying search warrants arrived in Jersey City to perform a site survey. Considering the numerous fruitless efforts by the FBI in finding Jimmy Hoffa's remains over the years, they go hard when they get a new lead. After all, they've got a reputation to uphold. Dan Moldia, a journalist who had written about the Teamster boss, is an expert on the Hoffa case and provided the FBI with information about the steel drum and its potential location. He said the landfill in New Jersey is 100%. Also, according to Arthur A. Sloan's 1991 book Hoffa, the FBI investigators' preferred theory was that Salvador Bergoglio's Sally Bugs, Gabriel Bergoglio, Thomas Andretta, and Charles O'Brien Chucky were the men who lured Hoffa out of the restaurant. After that, Russell Bufalino ordered Jimmy to be killed. According to the argument, O'Brien enticed Hoffa away since Hoffa was wary of Provisano and wouldn't have gotten into the car unless a familiar face was there. A Harvard Law School professor named Jack Goldsmith conducted seven-year research on Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance and wrote a book titled In Hoffa's Shadow, A Stepfather, A Disappearance in Detroit, and My Search for the Truth. Charles O'Brien, the man accused of luring Teamster boss to death, was Goldsmith's stepfather. His book makes the case that his stepfather did not drive the vehicle that took Hoffa to his assassins, as depicted in the Arthur's book and the Irishman. In September, Goldsmith published an article for NYR Daily discussing his findings. In Goldsmith's opinion, the Irishman's theory about who killed Jimmy Hoffa and its portrayal of Goldsmith's stepfather Charles O'Brien Chucky is incorrect. Goldsmith's book, page 294, gives clues about the man who killed Jimmy Hoffa but refuses to disclose the person's name. You know who it is, right? Yes, I do. And the FBI knows who Correct. it is. Correct. You won't tell us who it is, I'm and they won't tell to. us who it is. They might one day. I hope that they do but tell But why don't they? I think they should, and I hope that they will. Uh, everybody except Chucky is now dead, and there's no reason why they shouldn't. And it would, it would clarify a lot of things, and I hope that they do. Goldsmith is refusing to tell us what he has found about Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. But there's something he did tell us. It is about the conversation he had with the FBI in charge of Jimmy's case, 
and we will be discussing that soon. So stay tuned. Do you think Goldsmiths claim that Chucky didn't lure Jimmy is legit? Or do you think he is just trying to protect his stepfather? Let us hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Furthermore, after Jimmy Hoffa lost his position as leader of the influential Teamsters Union, he attempted to reclaim his union kingship. At the same time, Jimmy Hoffa's long-standing connection with Tony Pro, the head of the New Jersey Mafia, had severely soured. Men close to the two would remark that it was practically common knowledge that Jimmy Hoffa's time was running out. Jimmy Hoffa attended a meeting in Bloomfield Township, Michigan, on July 30, 1975. He was to have dinner at the well-known Matches Red Fox restaurant with Provisano and another gangster. The other two men weren't there when he got there, though. After that, Jimmy Hoffa disappeared. The FBI searched through the restaurant's credit card receipts to identify prospective witnesses from that day. Agents questioned mob bosses, union officials, and henchmen, hauling dozens of them before grand juries for questioning. Ralph Picardo, a teamster serving a murder sentence in New Jersey, turned informant and informed the FBI in 1975 that Provisano had told him in 1974 that Jimmy Hoffa was going to be assassinated. This information was contained in FBI documents. Many of the populace have taken the Irishman story, which we initially discussed as the truth behind Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. Nonetheless, others also believe that the story of the Irishman is simply unbelievable. The senior FBI agent who was in charge of Jimmy Hoffa's investigation informed Goldsmith that the Frank Sheeran confession was absurd and impossible. Goldsmith was told by three additional FBI agents involved in the investigation that there was no evidence to back up Sheeran's confession. According to Goldsmith, FBI officials in charge of Jimmy Hoffa's investigation believe that the rail hitman was a person from Detroit operating under the direction of organized crime figures who feared that Hoffa might reveal the Mafia's takeover of the Teamsters Union Pension Fund. There are a plethora of theories about Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. The findings of Jimmy Hoffa's investigation are still subject to debate. The world has yet to learn who was responsible for the death of Jimmy Hoffa. If you enjoyed watching this video, then send this video to anyone interested in learning more about Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. We'll see you in the following video.